And to other stories, now enterprises in Nigeria's free trade zones will not pay customs duty on locally sourced raw materials. This was disclosed during a stakeholder sensitization event by the Deputy Comptroller General of Customs, Excise, Free Trade Zone and Industrial Incentive here in Lagos. GVC News correspondent Ifunaya Eze tells us more. The payment of duty by enterprises operating within the nation's free trade zones were among issues that begged discussions at the stakeholders' forum. Speaking on procedure for goods manufactured in free trade zones destined for customs territory, the Deputy Controller General of Customs, Excise, Free Trade Zone and Industrial Incentive, Catherine Ikekezie, explains that when finished products from the raw materials are taken into the customs territory, it will not pay freight to the service. This is one of the incentives given to free trade zone operators because they are investors, they have brought their money, they have come to make the environment where these free zones are cited, they have come to better the environment. So there are incentives given them by government. This is one of them. Another one is that by the time the final product is being taken into the customs territory, it will not pay freight. The Apapa Area Controller, Yusuf Malanta, says that sensitizing stakeholders and training customs officers on the new procedure is important to the ongoing custom drive to make all its processes for effective and efficient service delivery to meet up with international best practice. The update is also aimed at streamlining the pre trade zone process and procedure through providing an enabling friendly business environment for investors and other stakeholders in line with the service trade facilitation agenda. A free trade zone is a special area within a country where foreign and local companies can import materials, manufacture goods, export products and perform services without being subjected to the usual customs, tax and regulations. Ifunanya Eze, TVC News, Lagos.